Hello, welcome back to yet another collection update. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the items I purchased in May. First of all, I found this Dalek egg cup from a charity shop for 50p, which I thought was very good. It is a bit dented and scratched, and it's missing an ear, a light thing, um, which is a shame. But for 50p, you can't really go wrong. This is an example of me just buying something because it has the Doctor Who logo on it. But I found this water bottle for a pound and got it for some reason. So it has a Cyberman, a Dalek and a Jadoon on it. And it's just a little plastic water bottle. So um glad to add that to the collection. I purchased a couple of things from Forbidden Planet. So first of all I got this signed The Ghost Stories issue 1 comic. Um, it's signed by George Mann one of the writers. He is also the writer of Engines of War, which is one of my favourite Doctor Who books, so I'm really glad to have his autograph. I absolutely adore the ghost. Um, Return of Doctor Mysterio is one of my favourite modern Doctor Who stories. I just think it's amazing. <laughs> so I really can't wait to read this. Ah, the ghost is so awesome. Then I got the three new Twelfth Doctor books. So I got Plague City, these are also signed copies from Forbidden Planet, so this one is signed by Jonathan Morris. Plague City was my favourite of the three, I read them all really quickly. Um, so they're all really good, but I just love Plague City, I think it captured Nardor really well. And the story was just really intriguing, so I'd recommend this one definitely. Then I have Diamond Dogs, which is signed by Mike Tucker, um, and I have a great one. And then I have The Shining Man by Kevin Scott. Then in another charity shop I found this Wesco Talking Dalek Alarm Clock for £7, which I thought was really good, considering I hadn't really seen it before. Uh, it's a little bit dented, as you can see the um, plunger is a bit bent, um, but other than that it works perfectly. It even still speaks perfectly. As you can see, one of the lights um, on the dome doesn't really work when it speaks. But that seems to be a running theme with all the Daleks in this collection update, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> and like I said, other than that, it's perfectly fine. So I'm really happy to add this to my collection. Another Dalek purchase is this Dalek hot water bottle case, which I got on eBay. Um, but it's actually a lot larger than it appears. So it's more like a pyjama case, or you could stuff it and make it into a cushion or something. Um, but it's just this really soft, uh, it's a soft Dalek really, I don't really know how to describe it. It's quite well detailed for a um, hot water bottle holder as well, so that's a, pl that's a plus. <laughs> I picked up the official annual 2012 because I realised I didn't actually own it. Um, I found this one in a charity shop for... I think it was a pound, and it still has the poster inside, which I was quite pleased about. This is a bit random, but my friend's niece made these really awesome little Doctor Who key rings, I guess. So there's a TARDIS one, and then a Paradigm Dalek, and they are made out of beads and wire, and I thought they were amazing, especially for a seven-year-old, so they're a nice little unique contribution to the collection. <laughs> and last but not least, I have this limited edition Travels in Time and Space um, audio set, which is the first free Target books in audio read by William Russell. Um, and basically, if you put anything in a tin, I will buy it, especially audios. So this contains Doctor Who and the Zabi. Doctor Who and the Crusaders. And Doctor Who and the Daleks. And there's 15 CDs in total in this set, so I can't wait to give them a listen. So yeah, that is all the Doctor Who items I purchased in May. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video.